What's happening guys? Welcome back to another episode. Today is gonna to be extra special because a lot of you have been asking where Dom Speed 3 has been and where the videos are at. And they're about to come in hot because we ran into some issues way back in the fall before we put this thing up for the winter. And we've been diagnosing it and kind of slowly piecing it together over the winter. We are here to bring you another video to give you guys an update on what's going on. And some big changes are here and happening. I got Dom here. And the car is right next to us, and we're about to show them what we've been up to. Oh, yeah. And uh, it's going to be pretty wicked. Should be pretty sick. Pre a completely different avenue than we were going to take before. Oh, yeah. But I think it'll be good. Absolutely. So I think we should sh uh, show them what's going on and give them an update on what's about to happen. All right, guys. So we have the car here. It's completely ripped apart, and you guys are probably wondering what happened. <laughs> So we were chasing a problem. So it was random, completely random. Literally out of the blue. His car was going in and at, to uh, his dad's work, my brother, to and to do brakes, right? Simple yeah. job. It came out and it would not start. And it, once it did start, it was, just... it was, it's reeked of fuel and was just stumbling on itself so bad it would not even stay idle. And we were like, what is going on? Right. Like it, I knew after looking at it, it had to be something fuel related, but mm -hmm. I just didn't know what. So. Basically what we did is we were like, you know what, winter's coming and let's just put it down and figure out what it's gonna be. So what we ended up doing is saying, screw it, we needed to send out your stock injectors right. and the PI injectors anyway. So we're like, let's just send them out, get them serviced, see how bad they are. They're well, it bad. turns out his stock injectors, one of them, they were all in pretty rough shape. His PI injectors, one of them was actually stuck closed and the flow numbers were terrible. As you guys seen on my injectors, they were, they were pretty bad. Um, so all of those are new. He's got brand new filters right over here to go on. They were pretty bad again. They were pretty bad. Oh, you already switched them out. Oh yeah. Oh nice. So he's got brand new filters on the PI system where you completely drain the tank and that's going to be wiped out of any sediment to kind of eliminate anything that would get into the fuel system. Well, as you guys know, Michael Ray sent us a bunch of rebuild kits for the high pressure fuel pumps. Yep. Me being as super busy as I am, I literally had no time to do them. So I sent out three pumps, mine for the Speed 6 Doms and the one for the RX-8 uh, to my boy Rodney. Huge thanks, brother. I appreciate you. He found the problem with his pump and rebuilt it. There was actually a, a messed up spring and the spill valve was actually stuck. The button on it is was just not operating. So it was just dumping fuel, which was the cause of what his car was doing and just spraying fuel into the car and it was stumbling on itself. I know I'm rambling on a lot, but I'm catching you guys up on what's going on. Everything else looks to be perfect, but you guys are noticing that there's no turbo on this car. Pretty weird. Oh yeah. But this is this was a fairly new setup, almost brand new when you got it. Yeah. But after last year, Dom was like, you know what? I want to try out a different avenue. He really loves to drive this thing on the street and have it just react in and out of corners really fast. So we actually sold your 64, 66 to one of our one of our followers. Yeah, which is cool. Which is awesome. It's going on another build, but we talked to our boys at Edge Auto Sport and grabbed up a brand new turf ski. And oh, we're yeah. about to see what that is right here. And we'll explain to you why we went with what we went with. So Rodney did a banging job. Like this is like a brand new fresh unit. Literally. It's like what it feels like. He's got all the upgraded, um, all the upgraded seals for to make it E85 capable or safer, I should say. <laughs> um, and all new hardware from Mike and it's ready to go. So we just gotta get this thing lined up and put it on the the car, get the lines hooked up, and we'll be ready to get this thing on there. Then we just gotta get the turbo on, hook that all up, and this thing's gonna be ready to fire pretty soon. Oh yeah. It's been a minute, it's been months. <laughs> Too long. Oh boy. Fuel getting pump the, going back on. Getting the high pressure fuel pump on. And then uh, we get the lines hooked up and then start doing the uh, turbo. Be good to go. Side note, decided to pick me up a new set of wheels. Went with some RPF ones. RPF ones with some, we got some sticky on them. Oh yeah, got some R triple eights on two of them. Probably eventually you're just gonna have R triple eights on all four. Tell them what you want to do with the car. As far as and you say you want to start, start trying to maybe dabble in some road course stuff? Yes. So we have a road course called Watkins Glen near us, and I would love to try it. 
not like an every weekend thing, but just it would be fun to get out there. I mostly just want to be mobbing the streets this summer just with all my friends, just driving as much as possible and enjoying the car as much as possible. Get the cars looking super clean. Oh yeah. This thing's definitely getting a full cut polished before summer and I'm repainting the bumper because it had some spidering that I just don't like it. Oh, yeah, we'll get this back together. It should have no problems firing up now. And yeah. We need to get some uh, fresh fuel in this bad boy because it's been sitting <laughs> some time for show i don't know if you guys will be able to see it but i uh swapped these filters out oh yeah you could even see how clogged that guy is that's pretty gross and the other one was about the same so that's looking like just every season just swap those out just have them fresh yeah if you guys have filters that you're running like pi like this and you have e85 the right thing you should do is drain like pull the line off your rail and literally let the pump run until there's like no fuel almost no fuel right and then put a bunch of 93 in there and run it through if it is going to sit because e85 is corrosive and oh, it yeah. will it will gum up and it will make filters <laughs> look like that so if you're going to let it sit for a couple months and you don't want to change filters definitely run some 93 through it a good amount like fill a tank and run it through a little bit yeah um, for sure so that it just is good to go you don't have any issues but dude you're uh your pump is back on. That and is sick. We're ready to go. I have been waiting so long to put this thing back together. And it is about time. <laughs> oh boy. We're there, buddy. Look what's back in the car. New turbs. So excited. It's been a long time coming. Oh yeah. Just need to get a uh, couple more things buttoned up. Some things plugged in. But overall, getting there. Go, High pressure fuel pump on, turbo on, intake going on. Where's that uh, extension? I really just the uh, freaking this last one on the, uh, the little intaker here. It looks so good, so new. Little little suction tube. Tell them what turbo this is. I did not. We did not yet. So we were trying something different because we're gonna try for a little bit quicker spool. Um, and some more low end power. So I'm gonna kind of mess with it this season and see how we like it, but it's uh, Precision's new Gen 2 5558. Yep. And uh, talking to my boy over at Edge, decided that we're gonna try it out and see how we like it this season. And we'll go from there if we need to make adjustments and whatever. Right. We'll yeah, from there. Cause I wasn't, I wasn't getting full boost till like, I don't know, 5,500 with the other one, which is a little crazy. What? But I think this one will be perfect for the setup. And I think worst comes to worst, maybe around next winter, build the head, get a little more faster spool. Now we're talking. Oh, it's in. Now we're talking, dude. I don't know, dude. I think it's in a spool real quick. Though. I think we're, I think we're almost ready for a fire up. Oh, we're close. I, I think we're, we're good. I mean, what's what's my time? I had this whole car back together in what? About 30 something minutes? 38 minutes? <laughs> Good to go, dude. Time for a beer ski. Is that holding my now, beer? Burrows, dude, these wheels, like they probably can't see it in person. Those are mint. Here, hold this. I'm gonna pull one of them up. They're so clean. Job, man. The guy you bought this from. What are you doing, my man? You play with magnets? That's what I'm talking about. These things are minted. They got our triple eights on the front. But I mean, the finish is perfect. I mean, these wheels don't have. Any, literally any marks or blemishes on them. The guys took really good care of them. That's why I love it. And even you, you got these for a steal. What'd you get these for with those tires? 800. 800 bones. Which is not bad. No, because considering those wheels are a little over a thousand by right. themselves. Just for the wheels. All right, boys, we're gonna prep for fire up. I'm not sure if we're gonna do it right now because I gotta run. I gotta run to the store. Um, yeah, we're gonna get ready to get this thing to fire up and hear the first cold start in it's gonna be like five cold months. Start. Oh my god. I don't even remember what it sounds like. <laughs> yeah, for real. All right, Tom, so fuel, after the car's been sitting for a while, take the fuel, pump fuse out, and you just want to crank the car to feed oil to everything because everything's at the pan right now, so you don't want to start it with oil down at the bottom. So uh, you're going to crank it just for well, a few I seconds. Hit the button, it's going to do that auto cycle. Exactly, and then you'll just kill it, right? Yeah, just let me know. Okay. Just hit the button. Yeah, go ahead. All right, go on. Hear it? 
Yeah. It's coating now. See that metal ticking noise? Your cams are completely dry. All right, cut it. All right. We're looking good on the fuel, uh, or on the uh, oil feed. Do it one more time. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna pop the fuel fuse back in. Are we actually doing this? Oh yeah, we're doing it. But... Right, don't your eyes right. About to get real. Uh, about to get real. About to get real, real quick. Real loud. Oh, better be real loud. Better be. All right, Yo, Vince, first start Vince, on the speed three. Vince, come here real quick. Up 2020. Can you do <laughs> video for me? I'm so excited. Yeah. Oh, so <laughs> Go ahead. She's waking up. in the clamp. Is oh, it? Is that what it is? Yeah. <clears throat> Good, she fired up. About, uh, yeah. So happy. <laughs> we had to shut it off because we're going to die in here. That's really <laughs> strong. Our freaking rag got stuck in the freaking clamp. I'm going to take this off real quick. Hey. Okay, so pretty sick. So sick. It smells like straight fuel in here. Oh, yeah. It's fired right up, dude. Oh, just yeah. needed to get fuel through the system and and get going dude there's like no leaks it's perfect it's it's kind of like i know what i'm doing <laughs> a little bit just uh, this, this, this a little bit but no no leaks anywhere as of right now um i think we'll come back tomorrow and let this thing we'll back it out and get this thing like fully heat cycle right and nice oil change yep oil change and nice get look over get ready dude to start putting everything back together you got new headlights getting close they're literally right there dude so excited Thing will be ripping in no time and then we gotta call up old justin for another uh, need some new tunes. New tune skis. Freak tune? Another freak tune going on. Oh yeah. Trying to convince my brother. I think I finally did to get a hot rod. I'm, what do you think? I want someone, you know, the American Muscle V8, something like a Cheval, Camaro, Nova, like something along those lines. Something like yeah. what, like mid 70s, late 60s? Yeah, 69 to 72, somewhere in that range. That'd be sick. I'm totally down for that. Kind of modernize it a little bit. But uh, yeah, we're uh, that's where we're at for now. So we're gonna put everything back on and. Get this thing fired up outside and maybe yeah, buddy. get it full of heat cycles, maybe get a little revs in. A couple revs. But no, this is sweet. We've uh, kind of not done anything in this car in a while and a lot of people have been asking, so here you go. Here it is. Yep. All right, so we're back the next day and we couldn't end you guys off with a little tease of a little start like that. So we're gonna get a full cold start every time you pull a car apart. Um, definitely, definitely check over everything and just make sure you have no leaks because we did have the manifold off, you know, all these stock injectors were out, all that stuff to get serviced. Uh, all right, buddy, we're ready. All right, here we go. up the exhaust we yeah. kind of left it unfinished last year so it's kind of got like an exhaust leak oh, yeah. tone to it but we're gonna get that fixed up and ready to go but letting this thing idle 
and get up the temperature so that we can check everything. It looks so far so good. Burning off the hot side on the new turbo. Everything sounds perfect up here. Um, looks great. I got no leaking coming from the feed. Everything just looks good, man. It's just burning off, like I said, just burning off the hot side. That, that factory coating that comes on there. But stock injectors look fine. Ooh, buddy. Perfect. There's kind of like what it's gonna look like. Those look sick, dude. Yeah. So nasty. Oh, I can't wait. That's Don't gonna look, look so good. All blacked out this year. Yeah, dude. Murder. <laughs> gonna do it for this one guys i hope you enjoyed it smash that like button if you want to see more of the speed three it's definitely going to be coming we'll catch you guys next time peace <laughs>